Hello there guys, Switch Clack back here, and today I'm going to bring you something where I'm going to play games that I like, single player, stuff I can't really play with anyone to play with, you know what I'm saying. Uh, this one would be Immortal Redneck, which is a first person shooter roguelite, and this is going to be completely blind, I just installed this, I've set the settings, <coughs> and the only thing left to do now is play. So. I'll be bringing you all the single player games that I play that I like, that I usually buy. So mostly roguelites, I'm not completely a fan of roguelites and rogue likes. Uh, action, racing, adventure, RPGs. I really like stuff with loot, so this is another reason roguelites are great to me. So I've already set all my settings, everything's good to go, so we're just gonna hit play. Okay, hit new game. Just go from here. I have no idea what to expect. All I know is. I have read and watched reviews, no, it's a great game, I had a little rework, it was a little choppy on launch with the gunplay and everything, but what if I to fix that, oh, okay, mandatory tutorial, nice, I have a Legend of Zelda Triforce as my crosshair, which is actually pretty dope, can I break stuff, alright, nice, uh, now I'm very OCD when it comes to any game breakable stuff that could possibly have loot in them, and honestly about to confirm that these probably do not, but I like to break everything possible. In hell, in the spirit of the Legend of Zelda Triforce I have. Break all the pots, right? And I... It's safe to say now that... I don't have to worry. Oh, I right-clicked. I don't know what this does. I guess it's my ability. It's a space that you jump. I mean, the whole base story of this game is that you're a redneck that was cruising around in his go-kart and then you get basically like, teleported into a desert and face planted, you got knocked out, and you got mummified by a bunch of Egyptian gods, you yeah, know, a little random. So basically that's the whole premise of roguelites, is you have permadeath, when you die, you progress further in the game every time. So basically since you can come back to life, because of, I guess it's a premise, it's not too random, it's not too random. Alright, run and jump gets you further. Nice. I'll jump on you. Oh, you auto vault. I'll break this. Now, it seems like I have my back turned a lot at, the, at this point. This is what I'm talking about with my OCD with loot. It's like I had my, <laughs> my back turned to some spots that were a little flat. Could have been hiding some chests or something. Some little secret stuff. Oh, I guess I'm getting my first enemies. I like, the I like the way this pistol handles. I'm assuming this is the intro weapon, and we'll get more from there. A chest. Which, uh, I'm assuming that's ammo. Yeah, it looks like a shoot, got that. Oh, also dynamite and a shotgun. I think the scroll wheel. Hard to load. See basic stuff. Precise shooter. Wait. Oh, so this mode basically increases my rate of fire. That's what's down below my ammo on the bottom right. That's my skill. Assuming that can be swapped out as well. Metal mouse. Wait, I just just throw my weapon. Okay, so metal mouse is drop your weapon. I pressed the button to see what it was, seeing as how that was showing me the Scroll it. Switch. Alright. Hopefully this mandatory tutorial isn't too long. Redneck's active ability lets you shoot faster. Okay. So that's all my right click is, is a rate of fire increase, which is good and can be very useful with some weapons, I'm assuming. Wait, so I'm actually in the game now? I guess so. Alright. So basically, it's a big giant randomized levels. Basically a maze. Map in the top left. Plenty of doors to go through, so just gotta go on each room and see what's up. And I, yeah, yeah, I'm assuming you get locked in when they really spawn. Right. I don't know if headshots do anything, but I'm trying to go for them. I need to tweak my sensitivity a little bit, and I guess the one thing I didn't check. But very low sensitivity usually. Hi. I'm 
assuming that horn sound what happens when I clear a room and lets me know that the doors are unlocked because I checked for the chest down here. Doesn't look like it. There's a door over here though. Let's go through this one's kind of hidden away. Very odd looking room. Bar on the top uh, tells us about how many enemies are left in the room. The total room's enemy hit. So hopefully I'm gonna get this uploaded as soon as I can. I'm gonna do a level or two here for a little first segmented run. Oh, and after a while it reveals the enemies in the room. That's great. Oh, I mean I was actually not watching my ammo. I should pay attention to that. I mean it's good when a game kind of stars you with ammo. Let's see, do more sparing. Is there a button for the map? Okay, Q is last weapon. That's good. He's use. I knew the map button would be great, because I don't think that any map's great. For once I need to start for once I need to start uh navigating my way to the actual exit because I'm gonna go through many rooms here. Find dead ends just like that. Try the shotgun there. Oh Whoa. At least he can sprint well, that's great. Shooting me over here. Oh, a little too early there. Alright, nice. I'm gonna turn my sensitivity down a little bit. It's a little too sensitive for me. I don't think there's anything down in the pit. I don't see any chests around here. No shame. How many chests are. Opportunities for me to find ammo. Let me go this door down here. What is that? Come on. I just love the range of the pistol. The shotgun has terrible range. Oh my. Oh, these guys are very close quarters. Oh, that guy took a shot. But apparently I'm being too confident with my HP. Man, no chests or anything. I expect me to find some kind of loot that can regen my health or give me some ammo and a gun, because this shotgun is not that great. Alright, if I just sprint and dodge projectiles, I can get close to these guys and shotgun on the other shotgun ammo. Those, yeah, those look like spike traps. So I was jumping over these. Not no treasure in here either. Alright, it's gonna be like that. Parkour when I have to find the other guys. Oh, that ding was. An enemy. Woo! <laughs> Running into pasta here, really. Just gotta do a little jump in course here, get up another level, probably find more enemies. Oh, yep. Not great. What is that exactly? Is that health? Oh, that is health. Okay, nice. That was, that was worth jumping. There's something worth it, I think, that's a fun core course. Oh, oh, what's that? No, don't do that again. Okay. I'll say I don't think I can put it. Get a little precise right now. Alright, okay, we cleared the room. Thank you. Okay, 
Oh, baby, come here. Give me some sugar. Wow. This game is very sparing with its health and ammo and weapons to say the least. There's like nothing here. All right, then. Let's try our luck in a different room. I wonder if the minimap would show you if there's a treasure chest in the room or something so you don't miss it. I'll start using my dynamite and I'm not using the ammo for. Okay, sure. So someone left in here apparently. Okay. Sure I'm good Help. Someone else in here. Alright. The game gets a little nicer here soon, or we're gonna be ending this run a little prematurely, to say the least. Boy, a lot of room. Are those things? Little whale things. Silly. Oh god. Oh. That helps. Yep. That. I wonder if this thing is at max range, because I don't seem to be hitting him. I'm against some pistol ammo, I didn't even notice. Maybe these little guys are actually worse than those green guys that just ran at you, because he's actually spit a bunch of poison. I thought these were actually weaker, because they're just moving around. Still something here, apparently. Seen that loot either. Man. So I'm getting too hopeful here. Oh, what is that? Hive. I said, oh, I thought that was like spawning though, because I swear I saw that flying guy float out of it. <laughs> thought those were giant bees and those big old bee they were spawning from, guess not. Yeah, that, that ledge climb mechanic's actually pretty nice. Alright, I'm gonna look up the button for the map real quick. Here for controls. Weapons middle. Maps tab, okay. Alright. Okay, so where can we go from here? Oh, that room I was in actually did have another corner room to go through, and that. Yeah, might as well. Might be anything to explore. Find some. What is this? I just gotta step out of its line of sight before it flies off that laser. There we go. Dang it, drop it. Alright. Try luck in the next room. Oh. Go for the tricksters? Did they not actually die? Those are monies. Yep, I have eight of them right now. And uh, from what I heard, if anyone here has played Rogue Legacy, you know what I'm talking about. When you die, all the currency, the character basically just disappears from existence. But you keep all the money you made, and then you upgrade your stats outside of the runs, so you actually get better and you slowly stack them on it. Rogue Legacy was one of the best Rogue Lights I've played, honestly. So, and as of recording this, I'm gonna get it up real soon after I'm done here. Uh, Steam Summer Sale, obviously, until July 5th, so it's still got a few days, but a ton of these awesome roguelike games, great single player, lots of hours you can put in because of the randomization and all that. Uh, they're all obviously discounted besides a select few, so I'm going to pick up uh, Immortal Red Deck. I think it's actually 17 right now, and I've actually checked around at the prices of the ro uh, roguelites I own, because I actually own quite a bit of them. I bought this one in another roguelite, I think it's called Dead Cells, I'm actually probably going to record some of that too, because I've heard great things from that, even though it's only in early access. So, 
Whoa, these things are one shotable. Ah, nice. Nice getting out of the low health area because it stops that sound distortion. Makes me feel like my ears going bad. It's a lot easier to take out the shotgun. I one shot that thing earlier. Yeah, there we go. Just gotta wait for some charge. More health, nice. We're very sparing with our health now. Probably gonna get an enemy up here, so we'll pull the shotgun. Yep. Ooh. Ooh, a new gun. Reels a map of current floor. Oh, nice. Alright, so. Just like the one I have in Kansas. I can you get away. So fuck, Barman. Yeah, I can throw away the dynamite. I got a flare gun. One shot. Alright, so this better do a lot of damage and make them burn or something, because this doesn't seem like such a great gun. Um, the pistol. I might get rid of the shotgun, honestly. I haven't really been using the dynamite, though. Might actually. Because I don't know if I can damage myself with that. Alright, because in some roguelites, if you drop your weapon and you leave the room, the, the weapon you drop disappears. But I'm actually going to try to swap my shotgun for the dynamite. dynamite. And the dynamite. Try it on the next room if it is the one I think it is, and I damage myself. I'll huh? try and come back and get the shotgun, but obviously if the game doesn't allow that, then I'm not really going to be getting away with that. That assault was quite big, actually. Very nice. Alright. Let's test out the dynamite in this room. Oh, the room with a chest, finally. I mean, breathe. After receiving damage, you become invincible momentarily. Very nice. So these scrolls you pick up give you a boost for the rest of your run. Which is very nice. Oh yeah, it shows on my map where I left my gun. So I think this game will let you keep your guns in other rooms. Which is nice. I also tried the flare gun in this room. The flare, isn't, the flare gun isn't very good. I can... Oh, dynamite's great! Explodes on impact without there be a fuse below. Oh, this is very nice, actually. I think I'm gonna keep dynamite. Yeah, no, they try the flare gun. Oh, that isn't even accurate. I missed. Oh, man, that's not good. This thing can't even reliably hit. I don't think it's gonna be very great. I did one-shot him, so... I think I'd like some close-up capability, though, and I can honestly snipe people with the dynamite. So I actually think I'm gonna leave this one behind. Oh, that's actually great. Does right click on the dynamite do anything? No, right click is skill on everything. I'm just, I'm just wasted that. Try and get to another room. Use part of this skill at least that I wasted. Oh, that was dead. What's up? Uh, another step to jump over to? Oh, there we go. Those range guys, I always think range guys are kind of one-shotable because obviously they're range guys and are not supposed to be very strong. Alright, so this is the end of the level, but we have other places we haven't gone to and there could be loot in there. And honestly, if I play for safe, I can get health for the next floor as well. So let's actually go back. Uh, the way these levels are designed and how big they are, I'm actually just do one per episode. Unless I finish one relatively quickly, but I usually just record another one. I had to just climb over again. Only thing about backtracking. I don't enter the gungeon. Some rooms had a teleporter. You could easily teleport back to different one that had one, which is very nice for getting around the backtrack. Okay, let's see. What, does this onk do anything, or is it just telling me it's a starter room? I think that's just nope. That's the starter room. Yeah, just let's start. I thought maybe you could come back and refill your health one time or something. 
I've been seeing these snake things in every room. Thought they'd be some sort of teleporter. How do I get up? Oh. Oh no, everybody. Where's the other guy? Blunderbuss. Oh, different pistol is this one like? It's a shotgun, okay. Might actually be better than the other shotgun. So actually let's get rid of this shotgun and pick up the pistol. pistol. The pistol's just called pistol. Nice. Alright, let me take the stairs all the way back up, make sure there's a chest. Nope, this doesn't look like it, so we can just get out of here. Try the shotgun. It's got more rounds in it than the other one. Not bad. It takes pistol ammo, so it's gonna be like a. Oh wait, that's actually kind of bad. No, he doesn't share ammo. Maybe everything has its own ammo, which would be very nice. But these mortal guys are trying to kill me. Looks like these guys are pretty much take out. Let's kind of dodge them. Some more enemies in here, apparently. Another floor. Oh, the middle of there. Oh, come on. How did I not grab this? Needs us to get in the next room. Oh! Okay, so that's annoying. Fire. Looks like one shot of them. I think Robin is okay. I'm gonna spawn up here. No bad throw. Oh, the spikes. Oof, still too long. You inflict more damage for you to see more damage. Damn! Alright, so I gotta play extra careful now. be a benefit, but we gotta play more safe. Okay, you gotta do that. No. This gold in the corner kinda shines sometimes with that something to do. As long as you keep moving on these, it shouldn't just stab you, which is a nice better button so you can run back to them. This new damage is actually pretty good for taking on the range people. But there's something I could have grabbed onto, it's just gonna get a too greedy. There we go. Ah, this paper took too long. Alright. Well, there's stairs here too, what? That was gonna have multiple exits? 
Interesting. Alright, so this final area we haven't discovered. Oh, this looks interesting. Alright. This chest or a different chest? Gets rid of bad scrolls. Ah, Rage was technically a bad scroll, wasn't it? supposed to go what wait oh that was the chest why is there another side can't even come through this way oh it's a Helsing pistol Helsing pistol oh it's like a sniper pistol pretty nice so uh, that's I actually like that better than my default that's what it means in this for sniping it's not very good because it's really cool so we have shotgun sniper explosives not bad that's a good combo Why is there swords here? It's acting like there's something still here. It kind of seems like there's nothing. Alright, I don't know. I guess maybe it's trying to tell me there's a gun here, but then why wouldn't it give me the gun somewhere? Yeah, minus three. Alright, I think we fully explored, so now we can go back to the stairs. Actually! Could be in your sake, I'll take the stairs nearby. Might lead to a different level. Alright. Ooh. It's not going huh? too fast here. I think the stairs are near the bottom. I guess they're near the top. First level available in Immortal Redneck. Obviously, yours won't be the same because this is a roguelite, so it's randomly generated. It'll be different every time, but that was my first experience. I enjoyed. Oh. And each floor has different statistics. And it's very interesting. Alright. So, I'll be definitely bringing you more of this and other roguelites and other single player games. Also, have things like Dirt Rally and. Let's see Witcher and Euro Truck. I don't know how many people like Euro Truck. It's a little, a little bit of a niche audience for that, but we'll see. So more of those and more uh, multiplayer videos to come as well. Stick around, guys. Subscribe if you enjoyed. Catch you next time. This is Switch Click back. See you.